very quickly, um, just because you're you don't really do enough like knockback yeah, in those situations against Rosalina Luma. So, um, and on, honestly, a lot of uh, Pikachu's um, high damage percentage rack up is from like grabs and things. Oh, Luma's already dead. I don't know. That was that must have been a flub by Blade Wise or something. How Blade? It's already dead. What? Okay. You can. Yeah. But with Luma already dead, Dare Dream should be trying to go in. But play. Uh, what is it called? Luma is back on. So. Yeah. I mean, uh, and then just, dead again. What the heck? Uh, see that. Well, that see that's what I was saying before. Is forward smash can get in between Rosalina Luma and take out Luma pretty quickly, depending on the situation. But in in like neutral and in the middle of the stage, it's kind of a lot harder in my opinion. But. Those uh, those panic, not really panic, but get off me down bees by Dare to Dream are very smart. Cause generally when oh, but generally when Rosalina tries to, that was really nice. Dare I got to pause it. Dare to Dream taking his own little taunt to uh, Blade Wise, probably a little shooken up from that. Yeah, but those pan uh, get off me down bees are actually super good because uh, Rosalina generally when she goes in, she kind of doesn't really stop until you get too far away. Yeah, she definitely is able to rack up as much damage as she can. Uh, Bladewise just tried to uh, to take that situation and use a dare for that disjointed hitbox that uh, Pikachu was throwing out, but just barely missed in that situation, surprisingly. Dare so, is really trying to go for offstage uh, positioning and, and take stocks and stuff just because he has a lead, but anyway. Dare Dream has done a really excellent job, and this is actually something I just realized about Rosalina, but if Rosalina is stuck at the edge of the stage, then it's so much easier to kill Luma. And is that death? No, it's yeah. not. Yeah, he's, uh, Bladewise is dead. Oh, very good at teching and able to take that stock just like I was saying before with the dare and trying to recover. But as I was saying, uh, I feel like it's much easier to get rid of Luma if Rosalina is at the edge of the stage because, I mean, she is kind of, like, yeah, she is kind of followed. There's no ground for her to just yeah. gravitate on. And so maybe I'm mistaken on what I was saying before about how, uh, how good or bad it is to get rid of uh, Luma considering how consistently Dare to Dream has been getting rid of her. Yeah, like, Dare to Dream has just had center stage and control pretty much almost all game, except for, like, the few moments when he lost his dock. And that has just led to Bladewise not even having, like, 20 seconds of Luma, which is pretty much like her respawn timer. Oh, yeah. And see, in this situation where Pikachu's actually in the air, it's very dangerous, uh, considering how light Pikachu is and how uh, advantageous Rosalina Luma has those, uh, those aerial situations. Um, so Pikachu and uh, it's just gonna have to be really careful. Uh, yeah, up smash isn't gonna kill, not at that low of a percent. That's that's what's really lackluster. I feel about Pikachu is that a lot of his his abilities that should kill don't kill, and uh, I hope to see a a weight, probably a weight nerf kill. Um, and uh, like I don't know, something needs to be done about Pikachu. Something something needs to be different. He's obviously to a high tier, but I feel like a lot of his opportunities where he can kill, like it's just it's really hard. Um, yeah. Maybe because I'm bad, but <laughs> no, I think you're right. Because okay, take Sheik, who even has less power than Pikachu in general. Like even she has a better time killing than mm. Pikachu. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of dumb, I guess. Yeah, yeah. it's just that like. Um, it's like you're only really gonna get, get kills with like neutral air and like down smash at 160 percent if your if your enemy is on like the far lip of the stage. Back throw doesn't really kill even at higher percents, which is kind of silly because almost every character's back throw kills in this game. Yeah. Um, uh, honestly, Pikachu's all about just racking up damage really quickly and executing with that up smash or um, getting those neutral airs. And sometimes that's not always. Whoa! What the? Advantageous, yeah. The side B was in the in the incorrect direction. Um, well, I I did that today too. He no, but he still should have been able to make that back. Yeah. Like, do you think he can? Well, he tried to get the down B, but his DI was off, so that's what uh, had him SD. If the down B would have saved him, then yeah, probably he would have been able to recover. Okay. To recover, excuse me. No, why? So. Well, that was kind of interesting. Luma does Luma have to take a certain amount of percent for her to stop doing whatever? Cause like she got hit by a thing of fair, but she was still doing jabs. That was kind of interesting. Um, she, I think she has a, she has a um, uh, not an in invincibility hitbox, but like a. You think it's like a super armor kind of? Yeah, probably. Like heavy armor, I think it's called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this Ooh. game is looking very, very different from last game. Bladewise very much in full control. Well, yeah, just because before that, um, just Dare to Dream accidentally SD, but there is that seek. Mm. Yeah, there is that possibility for Dare to Dream to come back in this situation. Um, although Rosalina does have uh, the advantage here, uh, it doesn't out Pikachu's Ooh. ability to take stocks. Oh, I thought that was dead. Okay, that was 
Okay, but I think one thing worth noting is that last game, Dare Dream had a super easy job of getting rid of Luma. And in this game, I think we've only seen Luma die once or twice. Mm. So that definitely plays into how one-sided this game has been compared to the last one. Yeah, I'm surprised that um, these up smashes from Rosalina Luma aren't actually killing Pikachu, yeah. considering how high of a percent he is at this moment. Um, so we'll see what uh, Rosalina Luma is going to put out. Oh, that's so dangerous. I know. Okay. It's such oh, an awkward good. situation because you can't really do anything. You try to go for grab, but uh, your your frames don't match up with that uh, type of side beat for Rosalina. Yeah, and then you're stuck in uh, lag, so you can't really jump out. You really just have to mash um, your direction. Yeah, you have to let go of shield and hope you SDI away from the final hit of Luma because that can kill. That kills pretty early. Ooh! Ooh see, wow! And that's what I want to go for in those situations is going for a ledge grab into dropping from there into a downbeat to get those types of situations. It's way Whoever's going to stick around, I hope you guys do. Very inter entertaining to watch, uh, watch PM take over. Yeah, but, um, and in our PM, we also have Silent Wolf, a super top player. But uh, let's talk about this Corrin though. Disorient is going...